Hello! Welcome to this video on how to become PowerPoint designer at No More Platform and how to pass the application process. We will take a look at following throughout this video. Why should you become PowerPoint designer at No More? What should you consider before applying? And what are the steps of the application process? We will go through all steps deeply. Now, why should you become PowerPoint designer at No More? Well, first of all, you can work where you want. It does not matter to us if you are at home or at a cafe, working from one place or constantly traveling. You decide where you want to work from. Be the boss of your own time. When you want to work, simply apply for projects. Earn 8 USD per hour and possibly work your way up to pay increase of 10 USD per hour. Receive attractive bonuses on your career journey with us. You can always rely on your monthly payments. And you will be working with our project managers that respond to your questions and guide you through the project. What should you consider before applying? There are a few things. Well, first one, do you need to be an expert or have previous working experience as a designer? No, not really, but you have to be able to work with PowerPoint and design slides according to our standards. What knowledge or skills will you need to be successful? You should be a skilled PowerPoint user. You should have an eye for detail and good visual aesthetics, designing skills in PowerPoint. You do not need to have graphic design experience, but it might be an advantage. You should be fluent in English. You should have good communication skills and as well time management skills to be able to follow your deadlines. Now, how is working at No More Platform different from designing PowerPoint for your own use, for example, such as university projects? Well, we are designing for our clients. Each client has different template and guidelines we need to follow. Therefore, you have to be able to apply these designing rules and their specific style to the tasks. Maybe you already are a PowerPoint designer. What will be different in the work approach? There is no direct communication between you and our clients. Our team of project managers take care of that, so you can focus purely on designing slides. While working on project, you will communicate with our project managers throughout our chat on the platform, and they will help you with your questions, review your slides, provide you with feedback, and finally approve your project when done. Now you might be wondering what are the steps of the application process. First of all, you need to sign up. Then you go through application test. Then you go through our onboarding call, test projects, and finally, you have to attend our final interview. Now we will go through all these steps deeply to really help you out and know what you should expect. Step one, sign up. You need to register at our webpage, nomoreplatform.com, and you can do so by clicking at one of these highlighted buttons to sign up. Then there is awaiting you step two, application test. First, you should prepare. Study our materials before you start your test. There will be many materials available for you right in the application test, but there are a few other sources you can check, such as our no more uh, platform.com webpage and there is a practice section with a lot of our videos or you can go to the help button which takes you to many helpful articles there will be all these uh, resources linked under the video you can as well visit our youtube channel where you can as well find our training videos and lastly you should never cheat it is waste of your own and our time. If you will not be able to honestly pass the test, there is no chance you would be able to keep up with real tasks. Therefore, spend rather more time on learning and practicing before applying. Now, next step for you is to start your application test. 
First part will be the IQ test. Do your best within the time you have. Focus on understanding questions and getting them right instead of answering as many as possible. Part 2 is the PowerPoint test. It is four slides to work on based on our instructions. You have three hours deadline and at the end, you need to combine the slides into one file and submit them. Finally, you have to leave comment or message for admin and for client. Try to think about what is important to inform them about and what information would be important specifically for client and what for admin. What are the most common reasons why people fail the test? Well, let's look at them. First of all, it is working on incorrect files. Then, not following instructions or misunderstanding instructions. Another point is not being prepared. Not being prepared enough reflects highly on your slide. Therefore, do not skip studying our materials. 90% of people fail because of these three points. Furthermore, do not panic in the IQ test. It is important to get right answers rather than just attempting to answer as many questions as possible. IQ test is also just one part of this application test. Therefore, do not worry, we will most probably not fail you just because of your IQ test. As well, Comments to admin and client sometimes does not make sense or contains not relevant or inappropriate content. Therefore, really think about what you should write to the comment section at the end of the application test. And as already mentioned, cheating with slides is another reason why you might be failed. We recognize that some people submit same or similarly looking slides that are many times shared by designers who failed our test. Therefore, there is very little chance that you would pass by cheating, and if yes, it will get very hard in the next steps. Step 3. Onboarding. If you pass your application test, this is the next step that will await you. First, you need to fill in required information, such as PayPal account information, you need to get ready your Google Authenticator, and you need to sign your NDA. Then you book your onboarding call, and afterwards you will have the onboarding call with us, and if you have any questions at this point, be ready to ask them. Afterwards, there are test projects, which is step number four. In this step, you will go through two test projects at our platform that show you a bit closer how real projects work. There are still some differences as we understand that you are a newbie at our platform, therefore you have more materials available, and also we might be slightly less strict with deadline, which would not be that way in the real tasks. This step gives you chance to get used to platform functions and way of working at no more. If you complete test projects, you also get paid for them, which makes it already worth to go through this step. In the test projects, we find out how it would be to work with you on a real project. So what do we look for in this stage? We are trying to see if you have good communication skills, designer skills that meet our standard expectations, good PowerPoint knowledge, critical and independent thinking, ability to understand our instructions, and if you are able to follow your deadline, so if you have certain time management skills. How to be successful in the test projects? Well, study available materials. When you will get into test project, you will get access to training materials you should start with in order to understand how to work, how platform works, which common mistakes to avoid, and also materials helping you understand clients' guidelines. Make sure you go through all the materials carefully. Read and understand the task description. Communicate with your admin and clarify any hesitations you have. 
Try to not ask about things that are already clarified in the materials and test description. Then we know you did not read them properly. Ask all questions at once at the start rather than in multiple messages. Keep us updated in case you are taking a break or leave for some time. Then be creative and show us what you can do, but design the slides according to clients' guidelines and inspiration material. Lastly, pay attention to your deadline. In this phase, we understand if you slightly miss the deadline, if you keep us updated and we see you work responsibly on your task. We take into consideration that this is all very new to you. Missing deadline in a real task would be serious point for very low rating. Step 5. Final interview. If you have passed successfully the test stage, you will be invited for final interview. What can you expect from interview? We will try to get to know you a bit better. We will ask you a few questions about the process you went through, your test projects or something similar. We will try to understand how you will handle critical situations on the platform, closer deadlines and your process of completing a project according to the client's requirements. We will as well give you space to ask any questions you have in your mind and Finally, after your interview, we will inform you via email if you have successfully passed. This sums up all the steps you have to go through in order to become PowerPoint designer at no more. Therefore, we wish you good luck in your application process and we hope to see you soon at our platform.